Welcome back to my channel guys. It's me Irvin with another news video with you guys This is one that I'm actually extremely excited about um, It's something that I Didn't know I wanted but <laughs> now that it is a thing. I'm super Super excited to see what it's gonna be uh, now before I, I read the news or explain to you what might come our way in in a few months or years uh, a few things if you haven't done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel we are on the last days of August and um, I, I, I would highly highly appreciate you guys to get me to 3500 we're like nine people away so uh, make sure you get me there um, if, if you can guys <laughs> that, that would be awesome also guys uh, there's a lot of news videos but uh, I've, I've noticed that these actually are getting love uh, at least more than manga reviews and anime reviews and stuff like that um, so if you guys really really like them then like comment on this video show me that you do like these news videos and I'll continue making them I myself have been enjoying doing these because I get to just react to stuff that I already read so uh, why not do a video out of it um, okay this is uh, the title of today's news Netflix confirms Resident Evil live action series from Constantine film now a few things Resident Evil has been a Capcom uh, huge game series for years um, gosh I remember playing the second game first and then I played Resident Evil 0 and then I eventually played 1 I never I, well, I have played it but I never played it for a while Resident Evil 3 I skipped it for whatever reason and I went to Resident Evil 4 and probably the best game that Resident Evil has released, Resident Evil 4. Uh, and then 5 and 6 came out, and 7, <laughs> is that right? Uh, there were remakes, and then there was, there was side uh, games. There were just so many games that Resident Evil came out. I, I would say, and don't quote me on this, uh, there might be a number here, but I would say the franchise probably has over 10 not not probably it does uh, probably 12 or over 12 games um, in total but great great series it, it also has a number of movies that were inspired by the game now I will say the movies did not really follow much of what the game was and uh, really there were two two types of movies the first movies were the, the Hollywood movies that uh, most people are familiar with um, there were a lot of characters and a lot of hints to the game itself, but the main character was really not a main character in the game. Um, and then we also had animation movies that came from Japan and were also highly influenced by Hollywood, um, that in fact did follow some of the characters from the game. So, uh, let's see what this news says. It says, Netflix confirmed on Thursday that is producing a Netflix original series live action adaptation of Capcom's Resident Evil survival horror game franchise. Now, I remember seeing this on Facebook initially, and then I saw it on Twitter, and then I saw these news. Uh, but look who's directing it. Uh, Brown Hughes, uh, the Walking Dead guy, uh, at Constantine Film, and Andrew Dabb, the Supernatural guy, is writing the script. Pretty good people, I would say. Netflix got two big, big guys there. Uh, Netflix posted an image of the script for the first episode. Welcome to New Raccoon City. That is so interesting to see what's going to happen. Of the eight-episode series. Now, I am a little bit bummed about that. Come on. Most seasons are 12 episodes. Give us at least 12 episodes. But Netflix has been gone, going with this, uh, not just with... Um, this one, but other series, 10 episodes, 8 episodes, 6 episodes. Ugh, I don't know why they do that. But anyways, Hughes and Dab are executive producers with Mary Lee and Constant Films' Robert Coaster and Oliver Bourbon. Uh, Netflix briefly listed a description for the unconfirmed series in February. Wow, February. That is, what, uh, five months away? The Hollywood Reporter describes the newly confirmed story. 
Uh, the Netflix series will tell its new story across two timelines. In the first, 14-year-old sisters Jade and Billy Wesker, oh wow, are moved to New Raccoon City, a manufactured cor uh, corporate town for some of them right as adolescence is in full swing. But the more time they spend there, the more they come to realize that the town is more than it seems, and their father may be concealing dark secrets. Secrets that could destroy the world. The second, more than a decade into the future, sees less than 15 million people left on Earth, and more than 6 billion monsters. People and animals infected with the T-Virus, Jade, now 30, struggles to survive in this new world, while the secrets from her past about her sister, her father, and herself continue to haunt her. That is just a pretty amazing... Uh, I mean, we, we get essentially a prequel and then uh, a little bit way past the, the games, I guess. Because uh, some of the games were kind of like a year or months after it had happened. so uh, Or like right when it was happening. So it's nice to see how all this is going on. Now, uh, Constant Film produced all six films uh, in the Paul... Anderson directed Resident Evil French. Okay, so it is the still same company. The company hired Johansson, uh, sorry, jo Joannes Roberts to direct and write the first reboot film uh, for the Resident Evil fi f uh, film franchise. Okay. Uh, the first Resident Evil zombie apocalypse film based on Capcom Survivor Horror series premiered in 2002. Wow, it's been that long. With actress Milia Jovo Jovovic. At uh, protagonist Alice. Okay, so the there shows you uh, it shows a little bit of details of, of what the the whole franchise is, but um, it, it definitely is a favorite fan favorite franchise, and I know it's gonna do great. Um, Netflix sometimes does a great job, and I think this one might be might be one of those times that they won't disappoint. Uh, I'm excited for it, guys. February seems so far away yet. I know it's just around the corner. So uh, if you guys are excited for this as well as I am, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I know uh, a lot of people have been mentioning it on Twitter and on Facebook. I just decided to do it today um, and tell you guys for, uh, yeah, just, just so you guys know <laughs> the good news. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you comment, like, and share, guys. Thank you for your love and support again. Uh, show some love on these new videos that I'm releasing to you guys. Uh, I will be announcing the giveaway winners on September 1st, which is a Tuesday. So make sure you don't miss that video just around the corner, too. Thank you guys for your love and support. And, guys, like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.